because who wants to have a baby and you're screaming and there's someone else in the room <laughs> good morning guys good morning good morning from my side i am heading for my glucose test today and i also have my six months checkup today with my doctor um i feel like i'm running late it's not for the not for the doctor's appointment but for the for the glucose test so i'm actually recording on my phone today <laughs> so if you guys see a difference in quality that's the reason why i'm recording on my phone i didn't take the camera because i'm like i don't want to walk around the hospital with the bulky camera in my hands and i'm probably not going to be able to use it that much so why not just have my phone record you know one of my <laughs> nail polish came out but yeah so that is pretty much my morning I did not eat breakfast because you're not supposed to eat anything for I think six to eight hours before you have to go for the test so my last meal yesterday was at 6 p.m. and I've just been drinking water now. That's it. So yeah, the glucose test, if I remember correctly what it really looks and feels like. I know most people say like they don't like the drink, it doesn't taste good. But for me, it was it was good. I don't know what flavor I got with the Batiman. But I'm I'm gonna see what flavors they have and try and get the same one. I think it was orange that I had. Um, but some women say they don't like it, it doesn't taste good. Um, it makes them nauseous I think because you're hungry too you haven't eaten anything and then you go drink that stuff right so but anyway when I get to the hospital I will if I can record I will do that so I am at the hospital right now as you guys can see but i'm in my car because the lab where i'm supposed to go for the glucose test it is full there's no space to sit down so they're asking people to stay in their cars for like 20 minutes before we go back in and see and then when i go back in i'm probably gonna have to wait for a few minutes before i can actually get the get to the test so what i'm about to do is actually call my doctor's office and see if they want me to do the test afterwards because this is crazy this lab is always full all the time and i think it's because the city where we live in this is probably the biggest kaiser hospital that they have so that's probably one of the reasons because back in san jose we didn't have these problems we did not have these problems you go to the lab in and out you're done um you go for your appointment you're done you know so i'm actually wondering what what the um what the birthing center looks like honestly because <laughs> me and tommy were having a conversation about when i had ibatima he had his own bed literally it was so nice and comfortable but over here i feel like hopefully they're not letting people share rooms because who wants to have a baby and you're screaming and there's someone else in the room with you like when i mean someone else like another patient in the room like another um, um lady giving birth too i don't know i just feel like that's so uncomfortable but anyway i don't know i can't go to san jose to have my baby because it's like two hours 30 minutes away and no one wants to drive that far when you're in pain you don't want to have the baby in your car so anyway i'm just here ranting but yeah i'm waiting for i think i have like uh 10 more minutes left in my car and then i'll head out there and see how it is 
if it's looking crazy crazy i'm gonna have to call them and see if i can just do it afterwards like after my appointment i don't even know but anyway yeah oh my gosh this wind it's crazy <sighs> It is 1.19 p.m. Anyway, so. <sighs> Two hands because I have really small veins. And it's so hard for them to always get something on this hand. For some reason though, I keep giving them this hand first all the time. I think I forget that. Usually... Whenever I'm doing like a blood test or anything, this hand is just much better when it comes to finding a vein or whatever. So that's why you guys see me have like two stuff on both hands. But I've been here since 9.30 a.m. It is 1.20 p.m. now. I just got finished with my appointments, the lab and everything um my doctor wanted me to leave actually after the appointment but i was like i don't have time to because she was like i know you're hungry you need to go feed the baby <laughs> so just go make another appointment and come back and you know i was like yeah it makes sense but then when i left the appointment i'm in the same hospital so i'm like it makes no sense let me just go take the drink and then just um go home eat and spend the rest of the of the day with my family and also we might sit down and film a sit down video today so um, look out for that video but anyway the glucose test i don't know why people say the drink tastes bad because even even before i had the the first one with the batima when i when i was when it was time for me to go for my um appointment my glucose test when i was pregnant with him but people would tell me oh it it tastes really bad so get yourself ready blah 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 <sighs> honestly it tastes like energy drink if you drink energy drinks it for me that's what it tastes like it has like this sparkling thing when you're drinking it so i don't know but i have a different experience when it comes to that and it's it's not it's not a bad drink it's kind of like the bottle is it's like from down here to the middle so you know you have a little bit that you have to drink and you might need to pee afterwards and they tell you you can pee i know everyone's experience is different because i've seen videos where women um they had to take the drink and then after a few minutes they take some blood work and then you wait and then they take another one for kaiser for my first and then now it's they don't do that you take the drink you wait for one hour they tell you you can pee if you need to after the hour is up you go to the lab and they take your blood they take about four um they have about four labels that they give you so i'm not sure what each test is for but i know the glucose test is basically just testing how your your body or your insides or whatever it is reacts to sugar because the drink they give you they get the drink that they give you is so sweet for me <laughs> it is sweet that's what it's for so just to make sure you're healthy I guess make sure you're not diabetic and you know nothing will go to the baby but so far i'm healthy baby's healthy my doctor she was like i'm so impressed everything is coming out good so that makes me happy because pregnancy is not easy so whenever i hear things like that um, i'm really excited about it because I know there's a lot of women who go through so much when they're pregnant. They, oh, oh my gosh, it is crazy. So I'm thankful and grateful. All right, I think I'm good now. I can take it off. But yeah, I'm thankful, grateful um, for the type of pregnancy that I have. 
and i'm just praying that i have a healthy um a healthy baby and also safe delivery that's really what i'm praying for i'm not gonna lie this is not something that i ever thought about with baby boy now nah, but uh, with the batima but with this one now having gone through pregnancy before and delivery and all that it makes me like think you know about certain things but yeah that was pretty much the update for today and i am gonna upload this video because i filmed it on my phone it's a short video so i'm gonna upload this video today so today's a monday i'm gonna just upload it today there's no point of like i don't have much to do um but yeah that's it for the video today guys i just wanted to take you guys along i wish i could have filmed videos inside but everybody keeps looking at you so i'm not sure what's going on with the video um like we're taking videos inside the hospital i never had those problems before until now this pregnancy is really different i can't even bring my son to the appointment so we're probably gonna have to set up like a separate appointment with like a different um company just so he can go see the ultrasound and just see his brother because he is so excited and he cannot wait to today when i was coming he was like mommy i want to go with you i want to come see baby brother i want him to come out <laughs> he keeps saying i need baby brother to open the door and come out i said i wish that's how it works that's not how it works and when he says open the door he points to my belly so he thinks the belly is gonna open up and the baby's gonna come out kids are so cute and so funny but i'm like my head i'm like i wish that's how it works but that's not how it works you're gonna see him next year anyway let me keep let me not keep you guys thank you guys so much for watching if you're new here please subscribe to our channel um follow our journey one of these days in my third trimester i'm gonna do like a postpartum uh must-haves video i'm putting my things together now and i'll probably just do a video of me like packing what i'm gonna bring to the hospital this is not something that i did with ibatima by the way but we and there were things that i needed like snacks etc etc so with this one i really want to make sure i'm set and not pack crazy things because i already know what you're gonna need so i'm not gonna pack crazy but just make sure that i pack that's all i'm saying but yeah thank you guys for watching take care peace out